Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about my biggest secret for achieving a high dynamic range look. High dynamic range look is often associated with higher priced cinema cameras, but you can actually achieve that on most cameras that we have in the mirrorless and consumer market. Now, dynamic range refers to the range of brightness in a scene that a camera can see. So every camera will come with a certain number of a dynamic range. It's often measured in light stops. So usually, most commonly in most cameras these days, especially the prosumer ones, you have 13 plus uh, stops of dynamic range. So with the cinema cameras, you're probably getting more. You're probably getting 14 and sometimes if you're pushing it, it can get up to 15 on certain really expensive cameras. But obviously we are using mirrorless cameras and we're using kind of prosumer uh, and sort of entry level cameras. How can we achieve that similar look to the really high and expensive look of a cinema camera that often looks like a very high dynamic range? Now the answer for this is actually quite simple. There are filters that can bring up the brightness areas in the shadows, in the darkest areas of an image. And Tiffin actually do a really, really great filter that I love using and I've been using it on most of my commercials and that's the ultra contrast filter. It's an amazing filter that uses the available light within a scene and redistributes that within the filter to the darkest areas of the filter. I don't actually know the exact technicalities of it, but I am using it now. So I'm gonna show you a shot with using it as you can see in this shot here. And now I'm gonna show you the same shot without using the ultra contrast filter. Now this filter comes in a variety of strengths, just like your Black Pro Mist filter. And the one that I'm using at the moment is the one strength. You can also get it in an eighth up to a level four. And you know, four would be your really high intensity one. And I feel like one is a nice kind of level to really just bring up the shadows just a little bit to make it look like you're using a really high dynamic range camera. And this is great because it means you can expose for the highlights knowing that you've already got some room in the shadows thanks to the filter. And if you're using a really good camera like the Sony a7S III, you can even bring up the shadows some more in post-production. But yeah, I really recommend this filter. It's one of my best kept secrets and it comes in circular shapes. And that's the one that I'm using at the moment. I'm using the 82 mil, but you can also get it in a four x five rectangular shape where you can put it in a matte box. The only reason I'm using the circular one is because I'm doing a lot of run and gun shoots at the moment and I'd already have the time or space to use a matte box. But if you're looking to uh, add additional filters, maybe getting a matte box uh, is a good idea. So yeah guys, this brings me to the end of this video. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in the next webinar.